Hi, I'm Emily from Ripples, and today is a very exciting day. It's the day your Ripple Maker arrives. I would like to show you how to set up your Ripple Maker. Please make sure you find the following in each box. One dongle, one power supply cord, and two ink pod cartridges. The ink in each cartridge is made from natural coffee extracts, which contain no preservatives and no food colorings. The pods will be sent according to your usage. After you have verified that all parts have arrived, you can pull out the pink foam packaging. The Ripple Maker weighs 16 kilos. Be sure to place your Ripple Maker on a solid surface next to your coffee machine so it will fit in easily with your barista's flow. Now this is the fun part. Plug in the USB dongle to the back of the Ripple Maker, right here. Then connect the Ripple Maker to the electricity. Be sure to keep the power supply out and away from water. Turn the Wi-Fi switch on. Choose the required network and enter the correct password if required. Now please confirm that the Ripple Maker has the correct account name and location. If not, please contact customer support. You will be brought to a screen with the user agreement. Read the agreement and scroll down and click Accept. Now you're ready to press Start. In order to install a pod, click the Settings button in the Ripple Maker interface. Find the button Replace Pod. The Ripple Maker works only with original Ripple pods. Now slide the lid back and open the front door. The pod housing will move forward. Now insert the pod with the handle facing right. You can also follow the on-screen tutorial. Press done and the pod will return to its original location. Every time you change the pod, you will be reminded to do a pod setup. A pod setup helps get that natural coffee extract flowing through your pod. Preparing your pod for printing. First step is to press on the settings icon. This opens a menu where you can find the option pod setup. Take a blank piece of paper and place it on an empty cup. The Ripple Maker will prompt you with instructions of how to complete these steps. The Ripple Maker then prints the pod setup test. Here you can see if your pod is working correctly. If you are replacing a pod, we recommend to do pod setup once. In order to open blocked nozzles, we recommend doing pod setup two to three times. Now you're ready to make some ripples.